So very good afternoon to all of you. Uh, today we would be discussing some of the important questions which are asked from the art and culture section. So let's begin with our very first question and as always we have one surprise question for you. So looking for the correct answers for the questions. Now before you send in your answers, mention the question number along with the correct choice that you are writing there. So this would help us enable uh, the right answer that you are trying to mention okay so let's begin with the very first question uh, yes atharva looking for the right answers anket atharva okay so uh, the question says find the incorrect statement now read the question as always carefully whether it is a correct statement or the incorrect statements there are two statements which are given with regards to the indian council uh, the Indian Council for Cultural Relations that is ICCR. Now ICCR is one of the major bodies that talks about the culture and the programs related to culture. So there are two statements that have been given here. You have to mention which of these statements are not correct. So uh, looking for the correct answer for the very first question here. Please mention question number along with the choice. Now art and culture is a very very important topic. We have covered all the topics under art and culture in our playlist on Indian art and culture. So you can just go to exam race YouTube and check out the playlist. There we would have uh, the playlist for art and culture, India's art and culture. And that would cover all the topics that are meant for your UPSC examinations. Okay. So looking for the answers to come okay uh, so by the time we have the answers let's talk about ICCR so ICCR basically focuses on implementation of programs related to culture and also tries to maintain the external cultural relations between India and others so other nations so that is one of the statements that is given there the next is it was established in 1950 under the ministry of culture the idea was to promote the indian culture at an international level so both of these statements here are the correct statements and therefore the question asks which of the following is incorrect so we have none of the statements that are incorrect here so D would be the right option in this case. Let's move to the next question. Which of the following is an incorrect match? So right Naveen, the answer is correct. Let's move on to the next which is which of the following is the incorrect pair? So we have the various kind of silk that has been mentioned and you have to find out which of the following is not correct. Looking for the correct answer for question number 2, uh, Naveen has the answer here, great Naveen. Now Pochampalli is one of the silks which is seen from Andhra Pradesh and this silk basically is uh, one of the uh, silks which is being used for Air India. So for Air India crew members this is what has been used. So first is the correct option. Patola is the silk from the region of Patan in Gujarat and it is again a rich handloom uh, sari that is being created. Borkats are from Varanasi. Uh, these are not actually the ancient stories that are depicted on the border but that is the ancient stories are on the Baluchari from Murshidabad in West Bengal. So Borkats are basically the two and the three weaving uh, lens, uh, lens in the double wrap that is done. So C is the incorrect option. You have one and two as the correct option. I hope that makes it clear. The next question is what is meant by thought? Now thought is what we have already covered in one of our lectures. This is a surprise question looking for the first correct answer for this question. Now as we have mentioned all these topics have been compiled and covered uh, in our art and culture playlist. This is the topic on Indian art and culture. 
and if i tell you the exact topic that would give you the answer for this question so waiting uh, great ayush has the first correct answer navin again has the right answer so uh, okay ayush navin krishna kavya all of you have the right answer i believe more or less together so uh, please send in your complete postal address to admin@examrace.com by today for a surprise gift from our side now thart is the system of classification of rag and thart is a part of indian music now uh, when we have the aroho and the avroho so aroho is the ascending notes or the ascending order in which we have the musical notes that are seen now 10 of the basic thards are part of the traditional rag system and therefore thart is the part of indian classical music and it is the classification for the various rags and uh, the 10 thart system has been adopted under the indian music system now this is something that we have covered in our class on indian music so just go back and refer that class for more details if you want the next question talks about odissi now odissi is a form of dance and we need to understand which of the following are correct elements regarding uh, odissi dance so there are four statements that are given here you have to answer which of the following statements are related to the steps or the elements we would say of odissi dance now mangal charan as the name suggests so mangal charan so that is a good beginning we could say so it is uh, where you have uh, the good beginning and the flowers are offered to mother earth so this is the first statement that is correct okay the next is bhatu nritya which is uh, the various uh, postures of the dance pallavi focuses on the facial expressions and finally the tharijyam which talks about the pure dance just before the conclusion so all of these statements are the right statements here let's move to next question sankirtan is the uh, ritual singing in which of the following states so question number 5 talks about sankirtan now this is a uh, a form of art which is usually related to the auspicious events the religious occasions that are there mainly with the life of uh, the vaishnav people and uh, from where this actually belongs is important so this is uh, one of the options that is seen from manipur correct uh, navin has the right option here so sankirtan talks about the life of vaishnav people from manipur plain areas so this is the right option there the next is which of the following sites are part of the indus valley civilization now among these which of the following are part of the indus valley civilization those who have joined later uh, do not worry this video would be available as a normal video you can watch it later and solve the questions there and then itself now uh, indus valley civilization we have already talked about a lot and we have to focus on which of the following so great a uh, lot of correct answers again kavya navin great so rupnagar and bhagwanpura are the two locations that are part of the indus valley civilization and hence 2 and 4 is the right option here so that's the correct answer next question talks about fayan a very very interesting question a very very important question i would say uh, fayan was a chinese scholar who visited india now uh, what uh, which of the following statements related to question number 7 are correct uh, krishna and others rishi please mention the question number along with the uh, correct option so that we know uh, which question you are talking about okay uh, so please mention question number along with the correct choices now when we talk about fayan as we said he was a chinese scholar and a chinese traveler who visited india great navin great going so correct answer uh, he focused on two of the major religions which were buddhism and hinduism 
he also focused on india's foreign trade and how india had trade relations with other countries mainly southeast asia west asia and europe as well now what is not correct is he studied sanskrit that is very very correct but not at kanchipuram but at patliputra so this is the incorrect option that is there so we have 1 and 3 as the right option great rishi krishna okay lot of you have the right options here so uh, foreign travelers very very important ancient universities in india very very important this time we have covered recent, recently a separate class on uh, the um, the vikramshila university again very very important uh, this is so nalanda vikramshila takshila very very important this time and the foreign scholars who visited uh, the these universities is again important the next is which of the following is incorrect statement with regards to sufism okay looking for the correct answer for question number 8 now uh, sufism Uh, we have covered again a separate le lecture on the sufi and the bhakti movement in india how it started what were the key aspects of the sufi and the bhakti movement in india so if you want to go into more detail uh, definitely uh, check that out it would be helpful by all means now looking on to this question the mystics realized that beyond the knowledge of outward signs intuitive knowledge was required to understand the illumination for which we have uh, the access to okay a uh, lot of correct a uh, lot, lot of answers coming in here the next was sufism talks about uh, uh, the a strict concept of guru shishya tradition and the ultimate goal of sufism is union with one god now here all of these statements are correct statements okay now which of the following is incorrect statement it asks about incorrect statement so none of these would be the incorrect statement so it definitely focuses on intuitive knowledge it talks about a uh, union with god it focuses on uh, love towards humanity service to humanity and the guru shishya parampara so uh, these were all the key aspects of it and therefore none of these is the right option here the next question talks about which of the following is the incorrect statement now stupas and pagodas what is the difference and how do we understand those so uh, pagodas are the temple structures which are basically seen with a uh, secular perspective they have multiple disks that surround it and usually we talk about buddhist pagodas as a common example stupas is again a buddhist architecture which is a, a kind of single dome structure that is seen and that is one of the major differences between the two so stupas are usually enclosed and they do not have any entrance that is there the idea is to protect all the sacred relics uh, and the texts that is there within the stupas uh, so they have basically a much more um, uh, kind of theoretical value attached to it so that is how we understand the stupas and the pagodas so both of these statements are correct and therefore navin right answer which of these is not correct is none of these that means both the statements here are the correct statement so both 1 and 2 are the correct and since it's asking for incorrect none of these is incorrect negative negative makes it positive okay now uh, let's move on to the next question here uh there is lot of request coming in for science lectures we have already covered a lot of science lectures more on physics and chemistry would be coming shortly a lot of those are already planned for chemistry in the coming months uh, specifically for grade 8 where we have been uh, discussing metals non metals and carbon and its allotropes and so on so just refer to those for more details uh, stay tuned for many more sections on science okay the next is question 10 with reference to india's first music museum 
so this is something very very interesting now uh, this is uh, one of the contemporary topics i would say relatively contemporary topic and therefore is important now uh, which of these statements are correct so uh, we have the india's first music will be set up the music museum would be set up at thiruvayannur uh, in tamil nadu now thiruvannur is one of the birth places of saint thyagaraj uh, the next is this is a trinity of carnatic music that is talked about so three of the persons saint thyagaraj muthu swami and shyama shastri all of those are considered together as the trinity of carnatic music uh, so you have 1 2 and 3 as the right option so all of the above would be the correct answer in this case so that was about uh, the questions related to art and culture we would be meeting this saturday again at 6 pm to understand more about how to relieve our stress uh, how to be positive while we are studying and next tuesday again we would be meeting for a testing tuesday session so stay tuned for many more updates from our side balu has a question about cell and its function so cell and its functions we have already covered the class you can just check out the playlist for uh, the ncrts and you would have the cell and its functions as one of the uh, classes there uh, we would be covering many more interesting topics for you stay tuned have a wonderful evening ahead